And we made it. We're here in hotel room just southwest of Manchester. And I'm here to spend a day with a lovely stylist who does education herself. I'll link it all in the description down below. But I am cream crackered. I've been at work all day and then I've just spent way over five hours. In fact, it's now gone midnight here in the UK and I left my salon at six o'clock. So it's been a hell of a journey to get here tonight. Six hours of travel but it's all worth it to spend the day with like-minded people who want to learn and grow their salon businesses and their education businesses just as these beautiful people do. So I'm going to bed now, I'm absolutely done. Here at LK Hair, here in Altrincham. 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 I'm not being sure how to say that. <laughs> I, I made it all the way here without being able to say where I am. It's yeah. called the Cheshire Retreat. Yes. So, if anybody is in Altrincham, or Manchester, then you 100% have to bring yourself in here to get your hair done because Lucy is a phenomenal hairstylist with amazing hair work on her Instagram, which is linked down in the description. So if you want to check that out, please go down there. Yeah, oh, you <laughs> did say that. She, did, she didn't pay me to say this, I genuinely believe it. But Lucy, being an amazing stylist, also has brought me in here today to help her with some key things. And one of the things that Lucy wanted some help was, was with freehand balayaging, because she uses a lot of foil for her balayaging technique but wanted to expand her repertoire and also Vivid's. With our Vivid, we had some big issues around an old colour in there, some Goldwell Illumin pink to come out through the midband. So we're going to start our process in the roots using a freehand balayage technique. If you go onto my playlist, there's quite a few freehand balayage technique videos, so do go and check those out if you're interested in what you see here. And one of the big things about this technique is the control of saturation, the amount of product that you get right up towards the root area versus how much you put on uh, when, when you're meeting the existing colour. It should go from thin to thick uh, from the roots down to the existing colour. It's really, really ultra important to control that saturation. Equally, it's really important to get enough product on the hair to ensure that the hair lifts evenly and consistently. We're not planning on getting this to platinum blonde. We just want enough to create some dimension so that when we put our root shadow on, it doesn't look like one solid block color. This is a classic balayage technique. We are just covering the surface of each section with a very thick coat of lightener to ensure beautiful, even lift from root to tip. And I think one of the big problems that a lot of people get is they either get lots of lightness on the ends and they can't see their highlights further up the head or conversely, it's too patchy higher up the head. For me really though, again, this is a control of saturation game, making sure that you evenly saturate the sections is so important. This is the bleach once it's been lifted prior to toning it. And here's our Vivid. And I love how this Vivid has come out. We used orange and blue and two shades of violet to create this. And then we have got our balayage and this balayage is an absolute beauty. I'm sure you'll agree. Lovely dimension and texture created by this freehand technique. And that's one of the things about freehanding. Uh, you'll always get better dimension. Uh, but Lucy, I wanted to get her opinion on why she feels it's important for onward adult education, even when you're as, you know, super at balayage as you are. I mean, I feel it's massive, you know, I've been hairdressing 23 years, been an educator now for over 10, and I just feel ongoing, everybody can always learn, I just feel like you never know everything. I was always taught the day you think you know everything is the day you should give up. And I massively believe in that. And I feel the more I educate myself, the more I can bring to my clients, I can bring to education. And I'm now super excited, super pumped, and now can't wait to do some more freehand. Amazing. And that's gonna be my addiction now. A new, new addiction. Yeah. So when you go and check Lucy's Instagram out, she'll be talking about 
freehand ballet Arjun coming out of her ears. And uh, we also talked about making some videos, didn't we, Lucy, today? Yeah. So we've been helping Lucy make her own videos. So Lucy's got an education Instagram called LK Education. Uh, hair Education? LK Hair LK Education. LK Hair Education. LK hair education. Uh, which is also linked down in the description. So go and check that out. Um, and I'm sure she'll be bringing you some videos about her seamless uh, blended balayages and a new freehand technique that she'll be perfecting over the next few weeks and months and however long it takes for Lucy to absolutely smash it because I can absolutely imagine in a few months time I'll be watching her work thinking, crikey, I better have a game. <laughs> uh, so it's been a pleasure, Lucy. Thank, Thank you, you very amazing. much. And Love good luck that. with your onward journey. Thank you. So Lucy's spending all of 20 2020 investing in herself, going on yeah. many courses. I've already spent over my budget. Over, she's she's waxed her budget, <laughs> and it's and and we're, we're it's actually it's March now, so <laughs> yeah, she's going to go away over by the looks of it. But it's all going to come back to her because I can see her education business booming. So um, thank you, Lucy. Have a wonderful no, time. I hope your business grows out of sight. And you guys, if you've enjoyed this episode and you'd like to know more about Lucy's education, it's down in the description. My education, The Life of Hair, which you can contact me on the comments down below or at The Life of Hair 1. And I will see you again next time. Smash the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And don't forget to chat to me down in the comments and head over to Lucy's Instagram to see all her amazing work. And don't forget to uh, send her some comments and some love if you've enjoyed what you see.